Santos. Hindi na kita sasagutin na kasi kapag, that, sorry, hindi na kita tatanungin alam pa ibibigay mo Omicron eh. Bakit Delta? <laughs> so, na, hindi na kita tatanungin Joshua. Never mind. <laughs> so, ito. Uh, but, no mga dramatizations mo dali, but ito, uh, things to remember, worth remembering. So, alpha is tangent inverse of one-third and tangent alpha is equal to one-third. So the fact that this is positive suggests alpha is in quadrants one and three because that's where tangent is positive. But uh, actually, because alpha is a tangent inverse, it should be an angle where the secant function is not negative. The sine of the secant function is the same as the that of the cosine function. But cosine is positive in quadrants one and four. One and four. So alpha is in quadrants one or four. But the tangent is positive. So it cannot be in quadrant four. Therefore, it should be in quadrant one. Next, beta is tangent inverse of negative one over seven. So as a tangent inverse, that means beta is where the secant is positive where the cosine is positive, quadrants one and four in other words. But tangent beta is a negative number. So between quadrants one and four, it should be quadrant four. Okay. So um, the goal then is to show that two alpha minus beta is equal to pi over four. Because there's lots of tangents here, what we decided to do was um, look into the tangent of two alpha minus beta, okay? Uh, if two alpha minus beta is pi over four, then its tangent should be equal to one. And yes, we were indeed able to come up with one from the steps done last time. However, uh, just because the tangent of two alpha minus beta is one, that's not enough to conclude that two alpha minus beta is pi over four. So tignan natin ng anong mga candidates. Um, alpha is in quadrant one, so between zero and pi over two. Beta is in quadrant four, as we deduced. So it's from negative pi over two going to zero. So therefore, two alpha is between zero to pi. Negative beta is between zero and pi over two. And then consequently, when you add the corresponding parts, two alpha minus beta is in the first quadrant, uh, well, is between zero and three pi over two. So that means it could be anywhere in quadrants one, uh, two, and also three. Now, given the fact that its tangent is equal to one, there are two options. Either two alpha minus beta is pi over four or three pi over four. So at this juncture, we haven't really uh, proven yet, but it's these two candidates. Have you done something uh, related to this, Joshua. Na try mo to or hindi? Abo. So what? So what did you do? Ah, uh, so kung dap dapat po ganyan. So how do you tell the difference? Ah, uh, if if to a if to to alpha minus beta is three bilang. Gagana ba po ba yan? Baka gagana. Sige. Um, Na-try mo ba or gusto mo pang i-try? Kasi we could just go back to this some other time if you want to uh, try it further. Pwede po. Na-try mo lang. Sige, try mo na lang. Alright? Okay. Okay. I mean, we have witnessed we have witnessed the birth of a channel or something. What? <laughs> na na witness po yung birth of a section. Oh oh okay okay sorry <laughs> okay. Uh all right. I mean I, I always do that so I I've just got gotten used to that. Sige sige next time pag March ha ipapakita ko. Okay, not not just the birth of a page but the birth of a section. Sige. <laughs> the, the, the things that provide joy. Okay. So, so, so now that we have discussed inverse 
trigonometric functions. Yeah, you, you know what's left? Before I forget, I pakita ko na ng mga ano. Uh, so let's continue this, but uh, thanks for you to try. Oh no. Okay, green boxes. <laughs> Me after I see green boxes. Alright. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> so prove. That's so brand new. Piece number no. Alright. Great. Ayod, much better. The green uh, green boxes again. No. Okay. So it would be more visible. So prove that cotangent inverse of x equals um, pi over 2 minus tangent inverse of x. Also, cosecant inverse of x equals pi over 2 minus secant inverse of x. All right. Yay. So back to the newly born section. Let's talk about. Oh no. Trigonometric, what do you think? It, uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't have any, any idea. It, equations, no! Equalities? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Equations. Okay. Okay. Of course, of course. What, what else could it be? Okay, I've already written that EQUA. What else could it be? All right. So let's just go through uh, trigonometric equations. So the thing with trigonometric equations is, is that it's going to have typically infinitely many solutions. Okay, something as simple as sine of x equals. Um, Sine of x equals again. Okay, square root of three over two. So if you start with something as simple as that, uh, the, the first thing that comes to mind when uh, a lot of students think about this is an acute angle. What is x in this case? 60. Okay, so. So before we go to the more complicated trigonometric equations. So and, and the solution it on. So from the start, this would be mostly just thinking of an angle. 60 bucks, but then there are in 60 degrees. Uh, so again, uh, the, the answers can be in degrees or radians. Okay. So unless otherwise stated, let's try radians. So 60 degrees or pi over 3. But is that the only answer? Pi over What's 120? Yeah, 120. Well, it's double 60 degrees. Ah, when I realize. So 2 pi over 3. But you see how any coterminal angle, again, what do I mean by coterminal angle? So it's 60 degrees. That was any other angle born uh, that is produced by, by making one complete revolution. It will have the same terminal ray. So therefore, it will have the same sine and also the same cosine. So actually, anything coterminal with 60 degrees and also 120 degrees, they are all going to be the solutions. So to capture the entire family, we sometimes write down the following. X is equal to pi over 3 plus 2n pi, where n is an integer. So this part, uh, this is 2 pi multiplied by n. All right. So... I see polar coordinates already. 
Well, not yet, though. Not yet. So this is one family of solutions. The other family of solutions would be those which are coterminal with 120 degrees. So x is 2 pi over 3 plus 2 n pi, where n is an element of z, the set of integers. So z is the set of all integers because n here doesn't have to be just 0, 1, or 2. It could be negative 4, negative 5. You could be going not just counterclockwise, but also clockwise. OK. So if, uh, so how about uh, this? Sine of 2x equals square root of 3 over 2. Ah, oh, I think uh, two, you need to use the two, double angle formula 2 sine two sin x cosine x. Would the double angle formula really be necessary? Hint, consider this I, current I, equation. I again realized. It's actually just, uh, it's a, uh, if, 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 let's say, let's say we put x by sales earlier example, that equals mm -hmm. this, the current 2x. Then it means x yeah. is 30, 60, or uh, whatever mm -hmm. terminal. Oh, yes. So that's it. So in this case, think of uh, the requirement being 2x. 2x has to be pi over 3 plus 2 and pi uh, because 2x now takes the role of x from the previous equation. So that means x is equal to pi over 6 plus 2 and pi divided by 2. So it's n pi as n where n is an element of the integers. Then similarly, 2x is 2 pi over 3 plus 2 n pi. So for the second family of solutions, x is pi over 3 plus n pi, where n is an element of all the integers. So observe that. Um, what, OK, a common mistake that a lot of the students do is that they just solve for 30 degrees and 60 degrees, pi over 6 and then pi over 3. And then they, without thinking too much about it, saka sila mag add ng 2 pi, ng multiples of 2 pi. But actually, the the addition of 2 pi should have been applied on as early as what we did earlier when we wrote down 2x. So ngayon, whether you divide x by, so whether you divide by 2 or divide by 7, then 2 and pi would have to be divided by that. So this is the family of solutions. So it's not just 30 degrees and 60 degrees and everything coterminal with them. Because in fact, if you look at pi over 6 plus pi, hindi to coterminal with 30 degrees or 60 degrees. The coterminality was for 2x when equal to pi over 3. All right. Because the angle here is 2x. But for x itself, there would still be infinitely many solutions, but it's not necessarily 2 pi or multiples of it. Like what happened here, multiples of pi, nung kailangan add to 30 degrees and 60 degrees. All right? Now, sometimes the example would come with a particular interval. So solve the equation sine of 2x. Why? Okay, 2x equals square root of 3 over 2, where um, x is in the interval 0 up to 2 pi. How many solutions do you think are there going to be? In a uh, considering the number of possible ends. Kaya po yung, yung 
Well, sa una pong equation, there can be up to, yung n can go up to 12. Pero only for yung second equation, it can go only up to 6. Wait, uh, where did, uh, you said n can go up to 12? Ah, hindi, pa, hindi pala pwedeng n up to 12. Oh. Actually, how do you think can we use the solution from the previous equation to the current problem? Actually, it's the same equation, but I suppose I meant how can we use our conclusion from the previous exercise to help us with this latest exercise? Hanapin niyo po yung mga, hanapin niyo po yung solutions na, na still still in and still pa pa lat lat po ng solutions na positive and still below two pi. All right. So pi over six. This is thirty degrees. We can add a multiple of pi. Okay. So a single pi. Pero we cannot add another pi kasi magiging pi over six plus two pi na definitely lampas na sa uh, right interval. And likewise, pi over 3 and pi over 3 plus pi. Okay, so four values. So we have um, pi over 6, uh, 7 pi over 6, pi over 3, and 4 pi over 3. Alternatively, Okay. Think of it uh, this way. Uh, we are uh, going to replace 2x by theta. So now you would have sine of theta equals the square root of 3 over 2. Now, because x is at least 0, that's going to mean theta is also at least 0. But because x is at most 2 pi, then double x, which is theta, that's going to be at most 4 pi. Okay. So what you do here is try to find the solutions of sine theta equal to square root of 3 over 2. Not necessarily for all values of theta, but only for those inside 0 and 4 pi. So in this case, let's start with uh, those in the first complete revolution from 0 to 2 pi. So we have, what do we get out of that? You already provided us earlier with pi over three and two pi over three. But um, we could afford one complete revolution uh, pushing forward, one complete revolution. So two pi plus pi over three. Also, uh, 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi. Uh, and then we cannot go further. And then after reminding ourselves that theta is 2x, then that means x is pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 6 plus pi, and then pi over 3 plus pi, which was the same set of four answers we got earlier. So yeah, it's up to you whether you want to find the general solution. And then after having found the general solution, just try to see what values n can be replaced with. Or uh, because the interval was already given, so, you, so solve the equation in particular for thetas between 0 and 4. Okay, so those are the basics. So now let's uh, jump further. Oh, no. Sine 2 theta plus sine 4 theta what? equals 0. Yes. It's, it's, For theta. It's, uh, all okay until 4 theta or 3 theta shows up. Okay. Theta is from negative pi going to pi. So one thing we observe is that uh, 
the angles are, dis are, are different, 2 theta and 4 theta. So the thing is, no bueno, it's not good. If we, we, if we want to solve this, we would want uh, consistency, that the angles should at least be comparable. So we observe that um, 4 theta is twice 2 theta. Right. Sorry, I was supposed to ask you that, but uh, I, I blurted it out. So 4 theta is twice <laughs> 2 theta. Oh, they're going to pick it in there. Sorry, Joshua. Okay. Di ba, Ale? Meron pa tayong ipang trigonometric equations. You must set, ano po, yung let, let, ano po, let two, let two theta po be Omicron, no? Kaya delta. Ay, oh, sige. Um, alpha na lang. <laughs> alpha na lang. Ayaw kong mag-gawin ng Omicron. Okay. So, so we have um, sine alpha plus sine two alpha equals zero because uh, what can we replace here? Hmm. And then replace with what? So, kung ganun na po, uh, yung bagong, yung bagong solution set is twice. So, negative, from negative 2 pi to 2 pi. Alright. Okay. Gotcha. But the equation itself, Sine of alpha plus sine of two alpha. Sine of two alpha. Can we two two sine alpha po? Wait lang. Magkaka mag involve pa pala ng cosine. Two sine alpha plus alpha plus sine alpha. Hmm. Sine alpha quantity one plus two cosine alpha. Wait, is that your expansion for? Ah, uh, oh, okay. Oh, so wait. Okay, you 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 jump one step. So, the the, the whole equation is what? Sine alpha times quantity one minus two cosine alpha. Po. Is it one minus? I one plus. Na na po ko. Two cosine alpha equals zero. So resist the temptation to just divide by sine alpha because we have to consider. Uh, these two scenarios, sine alpha is equal to zero, and also one plus two cosine alpha is equal to zero. Okay, now, oh, I forgot here, two pi pala. Sine alpha is equal to zero, and alpha is in negative two pi onwards to pi. What are the values of alpha? Uh, what's up? Wait, pi over, pi over 2, and then the other one is negative 1. It's not cosine, it is sine. So think y coordinate is equal to 0. Uh, y coordinate equal to 0. Either 0 or 1, 18. Hanggang ano po na, hanggang 2, hanggang 2 pi, so legal pa po na po yan. Yeah, oh. So where do we start alpha? Zero, dito po sa, yung, uh, eh, yung right side po ng x-axis, tapos na pa po na sa other side of x-axis. So sige, what, what alpha, give me the specific alpha, alpha values. 0, 180, 360, and negative 180, negative 180, negative 180. Okay, negative 180 or negative pi. Five. Okay, kasama ba ang 2 pi? Naka, naka gano'n po, so hindi pa. Okay, so hindi kasara, kas, kas, kasama. But is it just these three, negative pi, 0, and pi? Bang negative 2 pi. Yes, negative 2 pi. Negative 2 pi, 0. Sorry, negative 2 pi, and then negative pi, 0, and pi. 
and because uh, theta is half of alpha, so that means theta uh, can be negative pi, negative pi over two, zero, and pi over two. Okay, next, uh, cosine alpha is equal to negative one half. So that means we are in quadrants uh, two and three. Hmm. Negative. Tapos, think of the reference angle. So think of an angle having cosine equal to one half. So cosine x equals one half. So that would be your starting point. You you one, need an angle. One twenty for in the two forty. 120 degrees and 240 degrees. Okay, so in an alpha, but um, all right. These are the angles from zero to 360 degrees. Okay, uh, or the angles from zero until two pi. How about the angles from negative uh, 360 degrees? until zero because said the interval actually starts with negative two pi oh no negative uh in counterclockwise so <laughs> what from one from 120 120 which is what's 120 uh 60 is pi over two pi two pi over three and then minus what minus I don't go but definitely the, the angles you should be giving they should be negative ah lalagpas na po yun pag 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 umabot po pag umabot po ng if I do one full rotation so Plus one eighty. Okay. Pupunta sa fourth quadrant naman. Uh, full rotation naman ng tong 240. Okay, pwede rin. Actually, nabigyan mo na kanina. 120 degrees and 240 degrees. 120 degrees is 2 pi over 3. What's 240 degrees? Any double 120, so that's 4 pi over 3. Negative 61. Negative Okay. Uh, look at the angles I drew in uh, yellow and orange. The reference angles are 60 degrees. But, so, how about it? That's... Um, uh, orange. So, let me draw it again. So, we're looking for this angle. And its reference angle here is... Uh, this is 60 degrees. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is 60 degrees. So what's that yellow angle? Negative 120. Ayon, negative 120 degrees, which is negative 2 pi over 3. What about the orange angle? The negative orange angle, what's that? Negative orange angle. Uh, 30 missing from 272, negative 240. All right, negative 240 or negative four pi over three, which means theta is negative two pi over three, negative pi over three, pi over three, and two pi over three. So we have a total of eight solutions. Okay. So theta is negative pi, 
uh, negative pi over two, zero pi over two, negative two pi over three, negative pi over three. Whether you sort them in increasing order is, you know, just representation. So as long as you have all the solutions in the given interval, you're fine, okay? So the lesson with this equation is you want the angles to be consistent. Otherwise, if the angles are inconsistent, it would be difficult. Pero no consistency of angles, depending na lang halimbawa kung you're solving sine of x and then cosine of 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So even though this angle is x and this angle is 2x, you don't have to convert cosine of 2x anymore, all right? Because he can already separate them into the conditions sine of x equals 0 and cosine of 2x equals 1, all right? So you can proceed from each of these two equations separately so the cosine of 2x actually can be dealt with on its own. Next. Uh, is it is it big yes. sine x tapos on parenthesis something? Kasi how will we know po kung if it's if you're you're you, ginagawa niyo po yung, you're applying the sine function to only x or you're applying the sine to the entire product? Oh, all right, all right. Uh, I see. Kapag ganyan, that there's not supposed to be any ambiguity. Uh, pero actually, if, if you put parenthesis, okay lang. Okay, wala naman talaga mawawala. But, but the convention so far is that when you see something like that, all right, the sign is being applied to X alone. Because if you happen to mean uh, the sign is applied to the whole thing, then that's where you would be rather explicit about it. Um, so about it, when you look at cosine of 2x minus 1, uh, that's different from cosine of 2x minus 1. So, iba pa yun. So, kapag nakita mo to, then, kung kumbaga, cosine or sine or tangent, they, they would apply to what follows immediately. All right? But if you want to put 2x around, a parenthesis around 2x, that's also perfectly all right. So the next equation is the following. It's on cosine of x plus secant of x minus 2 equals 0. Well, both of them are x. Ina, antok ka na no? <laughs> Are you sleepy? Ay, antok po talaga ako po. Okay, la, okay, la. Okay. I'm uh, shaking my legs. Okay. Hey, if you want to jump, huh? Hey, if you want to jump, or okay. Or or tina tamat ka. Just ask your dad. Dad, jump because I'm too I'm too tired to jump. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, kayo. Okay, okay. Kaya mo 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 so just ask your dad. Dad, you na lang mag-jump kasi I'm too sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So anyway, Joshua, if I go sign x plus secant of x minus 2 is equal to 0. Oh, no. Okay. Um, the, the angles are the same. So what do you think? Uh, when in doubt, uh, the uh, wise man once said, always convert into sine and cosine. Yes. So that means oh, re replacing. It will become cosine. Ooh, what? It cosine plus one over x. It will become cosine squared x plus one over cosine. Am I minus two equals zero? And then what do you have in my text? Oh, it will become a perfect square. I see. I see. I see. I see. This. This. Mm, okay. This is a cool, uh, this is a cool problem. So cosine diba? x plus cosine uh, cosine squared x uh, minus two cosine x plus one all over cosine squared of uh, cosine x. Oh, I see, I see. But then, if you have a fraction which is equal to zero, then that could only mean the numerator is zero. Ah, so a fraction. 
apparently, if something squared equals zero, it means the inside term anyway is zero. It only has one solution. Uh, so cosine x minus one squared equals zero. So therefore, we can isolate the. So cosine x must be. One. No, means... it still gives an ambiguity. So cosine x equals 1. As a trigonometric equation, this has the infinite remaining solutions. What we need is a way to represent all of them. 0 plus... I mean, if it helps, uh, th think of the, the value. So, so you're thinking of 0. I know about 0, 360. And then, oh, it's multiples of 2 pi. Yeah, multiples of 2 pi. Okay. So how would you write that down, the general solution? 2n pi for n is an integer. Right, 2n pi n uh, element of z. That's it. Done. Next, done. Done, done. Okay. Na, sir, na ano na po siya eh. Dahil na uh, influence na siya. Kunyari po yung mga ibang subjects na may math, Siyempre, wala silang ganyan na training, di ba po kayo yung mga teacher? Ano yan? Sorry? Dahil ano? Dahil po yung mga tinuturo sa kanya, you're always looking at all the possibilities, di ba po? Pero yung sa mga iba pong subjects na may math, pero hindi naman sila mathematically trained like you. Siyempre, hindi. Pag kami sabi sinasabi si Joshua pa na ibang, ibang mga possibilities, ha? Huh? <laughs> hindi nila po naisip na kasi... I guess I, I, I no training. I no training. It, it, it takes time then. Ayan, di ba? You just keep at it, Joshua. All right. Yeah. But always remember to be kind. Especially, I, I was just saying, always remember to be kind to others. All right? Because we are all on different mathematical journeys. Okay. So you just so point it out nicely and gently. Me on my way to ano po, me on my way to building a time machine so I can skip all of those years. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I didn't skip all of those years. Ay. 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 Gagawa ka ng time machine, bili ka na lang ng food. <laughs> That's okay, but good luck with the time machine, though. Okay, here goes. Tangent squared x minus secant of x equals 1. What? Yeah, what? Wait, isn't this true? Mm. And I think there's no solution. Say there's no solution. But I, I think this has a solution. Wait a what? So, uh, uh, there's a Pythagorean identity. I, I can't uh, make up. Yes, yeah, so what's a Pythagorean identity? Oh, it's only second x. It's not second squared x. So yes, yes. I was, I was almost I was almost full. I was like, this is true. Fooled, so, fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> no, kana sa kas mo. This will be my only blunder. This will, this will be the most hurtful <laughs> blunder. I realized Ooh, there was no square. Uh, uh, this is not. Say it. It's not. One plus one minus second x plus second squared. Minus one. So, oh, so sec, huh? So, second, um, minus second x. So, say, so what did you have in mind? Second x times one, uh, second x over minus one, huh? What am I doing? Okay, I'll just, uh, when in doubt, always convert into sine and cosine. If I cannot, if I cannot. I, I, I get that. When in doubt, always convert to sine and cosine so that everything would be comparable. Okay, sige. If we're going to do it, Ah, sine squared x. Sine is that what you're thinking of doing? Okay. Sine squared x right. over all over cosine squared x. So one second minus one over cosine x. So one over cosine x will become cosine x over cosine squared x. Oh. Okay. So convert everything to cosine anyway. Okay. So one minus one minus. 1 minus cosine squared x minus cosine x all over cosine squared x equals 1. 
equals cosine. Ah, minus cosine x over cosine squared x equals 1. Eh, di multiply na natin, cosine squared x. Cosine squared right. x. So therefore, the fraction bar uh, will remain Disappears. Over. Wala na, di ba? Kasi, uh, transfer na. Wait. If, ah, it will be, you can just add, you can just uh, combine pa yung cosine squared x. So it, mm -hmm. uh, in, in, uh, to make it uh, cleaner somehow, it will become co 2 cosine squared x plus cosine squared, plus cosine x minus 1 equals 0. Right. Let cosine x be u and then solve mm -hmm. the quadratic equation. Mm -hmm. 2, 1, negative 1. Not negative 1, I should one. Okay, there. Uh, so, 1 half and negative 1. So... I guess you're thinking of u plus 1 and 2u minus 1. So, u equals cosine x is 1 half, or cosine x is... Negative one. Turn on. Okay. okay. Uh, let, let's not forget zero to two pi. So that, so that's convenient. So just just within the uh that that complete revolution. So there's cosine one eighty, and then I can go. There's no other other than cosine one eighty. There's no other point. So. Uh, okay. X I equals pi. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't find any other, so I can't find enough. And then for oh, yeah. x, cosine x equals one, one half. That's, what, what's 45 yata? 45. So, okay. which special angle? 45. Uh, what? what make, what's the arc cosine of one half? 60. Ah, mag arc cosine of one half? No, okay, kaya mo yan. Special angle. Uh, what, what is 2, 2, 1? Oh, the 30, 69 triangle. But, yeah. Uh, okay. Adjacent hypotenuse. Uh, it's the 60 degrees. Ayun po. 60 yeah. degrees. And the... What, what's the 360 minus... What? What am I doing? That's correct. You're on to... That's correct. 360 minus... And then the another 60 goes here. So 360 minus 60 is 300. Yeah, 300. Okay, so it's 2 pi minus pi over 3. So that's 5 pi over 3. Okay, I, I get what you're doing. You're thinking in terms of degrees, but that's fine. Actually, in the end, um, what's important is that you know how to get the angles. I'm just, you know, I'm uh, helping you familiarize yourself with Regents. It's kind of hard na po, na? Isipin niyo po, mathematicians literally talking about radians. Uh, yeah, oh, rather than degrees. <laughs> but but ge 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 geometrically, I understand degrees. It's just, you know, something I've gotten used to. Now, um, converting everything into sines and cosines uh, generally works, all right? But, but ultimately, what we want to be able to do is um, be able to compare uh, everything together. Tunare, tunare. Let's say the equation was secant squared x minus secant of x equals 1. Would you still need to convert into sines and cosines? No more. No more, diba? Because you can solve for secant of x. You can take this as a quadratic equation. So the point there is that sometimes it's not necessary to make the conversion into into sines and cosines as long as you have consistency. So consistency be it in terms of angles. So and like it on a um it on a sine two theta and sine four theta. Or a consistency in terms of the trigonometric function. Sorry, uh Pika, you, you were saying something? So sec in the end for you still have to convert second into cosine or or else I can just turn the u po into 1 over cosine x. Uh, so, so, pwede. So, in the end, if you do convert to sine and cosine, baka mas simple na. Apo. Uh, pero ito, um... Sorry po, no? Not necessary all the time. In a point ni Sir. Mm-hmm. Not 
all the time because actually you mentioned it earlier right from the start you thought it was secant squared x but it's actually secant because you were thinking of one identity what identity was that that you had in mind the pythagorean identity a tangent which is x equals one minus second squared x or one plus oh uh, yes one minus second squared x actually hold on it's tangent squared x plus one equals secant squared x so, so that means tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus one and going back to the equation you can make a replacement on the first term tangent squared of x because that's going to give us negative sa one it data sa identity na to hindi po sa baba po what do you mean negative sa uh, here? Ito ang problem. Ay, hindi po yung... Or dito? Ito? Eh, hindi pa ako tapos. Hindi pa, hindi pa. Hindi pa ako tapos. Okay, kaakala ko you were asking about something. So I had to go somewhere else. Ito. Uh, tangent squared x. Okay. Ito, kasi ginugulo mo ako. <laughs> you know, eh. yeah. no, no, yes, yes, yes. Oh, right. mo kasi ako. Right. Minus <laughs> secant of x equals one. Furthermore, okay. Okay. Kasi mo ako. secant squared x. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. This is the height of laziness. All right, and then, all right. You cannot copy paste anymore because it's mag ano po. Huh? No, copy paste pa equals sign sa ink. All right, equals zero, and then what does this lead to? Uh, is something that can be factored. All right. So negative one. Yeah. So, Although, of course. Convert into cosine. Mm hmm. Ha! All right. So, of course, ultimately, it should end up with that. All right. But uh, this is to show that sometimes depend there with what you see right away. All right. Because. Um, well, yeah, it, it depends on what you see right away. Next. I assure you, in this next problem, no conversion to sines and cosines can be done. What? No, 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 no. I don't want to see. There, there's, there's no more. No! Because it's already in terms of sine and cosine. And, 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 and a foolish man once said, po, when, whenever, when in doubt, Convert all sines and cosines into tangent seconds where sines four chords. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you could definitely do that. All right. The foolish man. Okay. Itagun natin sa pangalan. Okay. Uh, Soliman Joshua. And then again, my okay. pangalan. <laughs> Okay, for this person shall forever remain anonymous, but we're gonna use an alias. Okay. Okay, ang alias niya ay ano? Joshi. Okay. Joshi Suleiman. I don't know. Similar. Okay. So, okay, sine theta minus the square root of three cosine theta equals one. So, again, Joshua, convert to sine and cosine. <laughs> so, sine theta minus square root of three cosine theta equals one. Problem solved. Yeah, okay, that's it, that's it. <laughs> yeah, ito. Um, so, this is, yeah, this is challenging, no? Yikes. Um... 
The problem is the left hand side. If only there was a way of converting it. Like, so ultimately, it's not a game of always making it into all angles theta. Kasi halimbawa, let's say you, you have the following cosine of um, 2 theta equals 1 half. This is enough, diba? You, 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 you don't need to do anything with the fact that this is 2 theta. You, you don't need an expansion. Or what you have is sine of 2x plus pi over 7 equals square root of 3 over 2. You don't need to do anything with 2x plus pi over 7 because you're fine just having a single trigonometric function there. Unfortunately, here we have, well, two different trigonometric functions. But what if we can uh, convert this so that the left side will be just one trigonometric function? So here's a hint. Square root of three. Have you seen this before with uh, with trigonometric functions? Tanan, it is the. Tanan naga appear on square root of three. Thirty sixty ninety triangle. Yeah, okay. In a special angle, where does it appear? This square root of three. Sixty and. Uh... Okay, we would sixty in particular. What trig function of sixty? Sine of. sine of 60 degrees or sine of pi over 3 equals? Square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. Okay, well, although what we have here is square root of 3, but you can turn that into square root of 3 over 2 if you divide the whole equation by 2. But then you would have to put it before sine theta, then minus square root of 3 over 2 cosine theta, equals one half okay. and then um hey square root of three over two is sine of pi over three okay but well square root of three over two uh is replaceable by sine of pi over three so i want to use a different color Uh, but we happen to have introduced one half. Does this remind you of something related to pi over three? Square root of three over two, da -na 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 -na. and then cosine. Oh, we need to find the value for cosine. So, What's the cosine of pi over three? Cosine of six. Uh, that, uh, one over two, one half. One half. So in other words, that orange and circle thing is a cosine of pi over three. No. So this is what we now have. Notice anything peculiar about the left side? Wait, it's that it's the it's the the sine addition or something formula. No. Yes. I saw it. It is. It is too late. My eyes have uh, My eyes have seen it already. Oh, uh, your eyes have seen it. You cannot unsee it. What is this evil thing your eyes have witnessed? <laughs> Sine theta plus pi over three. Plus or minus. This is sine. I will go against my will because for me, I didn't want the whole problem. I must go against my will. Uh, <laughs> minus, <laughs> minus, minus. Three. Equals. It's correct. Yeah. yeah. Minus. Again, let me repeat. It's where it's in the cosine where you switch. For sine, it's the same. Apple. Okay, so it's worth repeating those associations. If the tangent of x plus y is um, tan x plus tan y over 1 minus tan x tan y. 
So kita mo, nung sa taas, uh, it retains the operation. In the denominator, it flips, it switches. Or observe that tan x plus y is sine of x plus y over the cosine of x plus y. So keep in mind that the switching, the flipping of the operation happens in the denominator with the cosine. The retaining of the operation happens with what you see in the numerator, the sine function. Okay, so it takes practice get, uh, to, to get the hang of it. So what you could always do is keep making these associations until you are able to remember them much better. Okay, now that uh, we have sine of theta minus pi over three equals one half. See what happened here on the left side? It's just now a single trigonometric function. Okay, which means theta minus pi over three equals, so we are after the general solution. So ano nung mga angles having a sign equal to one half? Uh, the tip is to start with the basic complete revolution, zero to 360 degrees or zero to two pi, and then just add multiples of two pi. So ano muna to? Sign equal to one half. So... 30 po na? Yeah, 30 degrees and? 30 and the 150. Yeah. What else? Until, ah, so 30 plus 360, 390. Oh, so in radians, no 30? 30, 30 okay. is uh, pi over 6 and then 150 is Two pi minus pi over six, which makes it. Or how far? Oh, five is no. I realized that I, I cannot. I can. I must not hear it. It must be. It must is five times thirty degrees, which is five pi over six. Yeah, yes, that's it. That's what I was gonna point out. One fifty is five times thirty. So just multiply by five. Five pi over six. Yeah, I got one. Let's subtract. Kapa no. 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. Again, <laughs> pa pi minus pi over six times or times five. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, well, the, there's no interval mentioned. So this would have to be plus, uh, plus two n pi. No, all no, n element of z done lang sa final answer. So theta is equal to pi over three plus pi over six. And then uh, one third plus one over six, one half no? So pi over two plus two and pi. And then n element of z. Or it on next amount pi over three plus five pi over six. So and then, uh, seven pi over six plus two n pi n element of all integers all right but that was tricky no example no you know because it was uh, mind-boggling really to figure out what to do with that square root of three actually if you look at the solution when you think about it you know what Buti na lang square root of 3 siya. Buti na lang square root of 3. Ito ano po, square root of 5. You know what? Let's do it. No! <laughs> yes. 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 No, because you know what? There's a way. What did I say? I am not. Ano na po ako? I am the victim of the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Sine theta minus the square root of 5 cosine theta equals uh, equals one. Now, ganito, it's not going to be convenient. Hindi siya magiging convenient. All right? Pero let's take in inspiration from what we encountered earlier. So, uh, nung lumabas na coefficients encircled in orange, 
one half and spirit of the overdue. And we were happy that, uh, well, it was fortuitous that um, they happen to be the sine and cosine of uh, trigonometric uh, special trig function values. Oh, by the way, um, ito, uh, let, let me present an alternative to that solution because what you did is you pointed out that square root of three over two is the sine of pi over t. But well, given that, this is also cosine of pi over six, diba? And one half is the sine of pi over six. So uh, the equation can be converted into the following um, sine pi over six sine theta minus uh, cosine pi over six cosine theta equals one half. Pero unahin natin nung uh, uh, cosine theta cosine pi over six. Multiply everything by negative one minus sine of theta sine pi over six equals negative one half. Recognize what the left side is. Oh no. Cosine cosine minus sine sine. This is the cosine addition. Yeah, cosine of theta plus or minus pi over six. Plus. I'm plus. Yes! Plus, yes. So you would end up with a different equation comparable to what we got here. Uh, and eventually, it would lead to the same the, the same solutions. All right? So kasi ba, isipin mo, how do I know square root of 3 over 2? I should have thought of that as sine of pi over 3, when I could have also thought of that as cosine pi over 6. So which is more correct? Answer, neither. They're both equally valid. And both would lead to the same solution. Tapos mo gagawin na po, ganito po yung problem. Sine theta ano? minus, the human number of nested square roots po is the second largest the second largest prime number. Tapos nyo sa pinakumaba po. Is the prime the biggest okay. prime number? Thompson cosine theta equals one. Okay, akala ko ba uh, ano ano? Gusto ko gawin na problem. Akala ko ba sa akin po kalaban mo nung tang mo. <laughs> the problems you're suggesting. Dito muna tayo. Dito muna tayo. Mga nested test is correct ka ba? So, but, but what's important is that the resulting um values you could make out of them uh, something uh trigonometric. Uh, trigonometric function values of a sine and cosine, even if they're not special angles. Because it was square root of five. I don't think we can come up with a special angle out of that. So get it Um. Well, right now, think of us as having uh the co the co the coefficient one here, one, and then sine theta, and then minus here cosine theta equals one. And then square root of five. Earlier, we divided by two. Okay. Because one, so that we would get one half and square root of three over two. But those constant coefficients, if they are a sine and cosine, then that means the sum of their squares should be equal to one. So the idea is, we are going to think of what divisor to use. So one and square root of five. Should I divide by two? Should I divide by seven? Should I divide by, by two six? Po, para, divide by two po para maging golden ratio. Para maging ano? Golden ratio. Uh, well, okay. I, I see what you're saying. Pero ganito, one half and square root of five over two. Can they be, uh, pwede pa silang maging a cosine of something and the sine of something? Arc sine time. Ha, ha, ha. Look at it. Is there such an angle whose cosine is... Is there such an angle x whose Lapa. cosine is one half? Wala. How do you know wala? Kasi nag arc uh, cosine and arc sine ka. Apo. All right. Or, well, I suppose it's because it's a one half special angle. Or kasi ganito. One half squared plus the square root of 5 over 2 squared is not equal to 1. 
Okay. Di ba kasi, if they're the result of a cosine and sine, the sum of their square should be equal to 1. But, na, na, all we gotta na, do is, idea. So replace you... natin ng denominator, it must not be 2. For this to happen, what should question mark be? Where question mark is the divisor that we're going to apply on 1 and the square root of 5. Wait. Shouldn't this be true for all possible numbers, Bob? No, actually, just for this particular instance, um, uh, what we want to do is, similar to the division of 2 that we did earlier, okay, we want to... Uh, choose the divisor so that uh, let's call it D. Okay, let's call it D. Uh, such that the square root of 5 over D is the sine of something and 1 over D is the cosine of something. So question, what should the divisor D be equal to? So follow the argument here. So it took number one equals six over d squared. Are you are you able to follow this? The equation I wrote in green. But if if d squared is equal to I don't know, let me that now. Square root of six, no. Yeah. Actually, okay, square root of six. If, 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 if the square root of six, then it will become one on the right side. Yeah. Okay, so. so divide that then by the square root of six. Okay. So get it to natin. All right. It's a bit an uh, orthodox. Okay, so anyway, sine theta and then one over the square root of six minus cosine theta, and then square root of five over the square root of six equals one over the square root of six, okay? So the thing is, okay, let x be uh, cosine inverse of one over the square root of six. Wait, hold on. Baka nakakalito. Let, let me use alpha na lang. Okay. Alpha. Okay. So the 1 over the square root of 6 and square root of 5 over 6, if you define alpha to be cosine inverse of 1 over the square root of 6, then dalabas, mangyari, cosine alpha is 1 over the square root of 6 and sine alpha would be square root of 5 over the square root of 6. Can find alpha. We don't have to find alpha. Just let alpha be cosine inverse of one over the square root of six. It's a specific angle. Do we have a close, convenient, nice form for it? No, but it is what it is. Cosine inverse of one over the square root of six, whatever, whatever that is. Okay. But how it, it allows us to proceed is as follows. Okay. Now we have sine of theta and then cosine alpha minus cosine theta sine alpha equals one over the square root of six. Okay, recognize the left side. And then the left side. It's another sine uh, addition. Sine of? Sine of theta minus alpha. Ha, this must be correct. Equals one over the square root of six. Okay, let's look for all solutions 
in one complete revolution? First, where are we going to find uh, the solutions? In which quadrants? Uh, so it's in either first or second. Okay, first or second. So the first solution for theta minus alpha, it would be note that one over square root of six is not a special angle. So let I mayagawa, it's sine inverse of one over the square root of six. Ito yon. This is it. Ito yon. Sine inverse of one over the square root of six. But don't forget, there is another solution in the second quadrant. Okay. So ano tong ngayon, keep in mind that um, the purple angles are equal to each other. The second solution we're looking for would have to be this. No blue angle. What is that blue angle? Uh, 180 minus, oh, it's really mm. like that. 180 minus sine negative one, one over square root of six. Why do I keep saying yeah. like sine negative one? Sine to the I know what you mean though, sine inverse. Okay. So, and then uh, plus two n pi, plus two n pi. And now don't forget that, uh, how did we define alpha? Ito. Alpha is cosine inverse of one over the square root of six. And it is really theta that we're solving. So in other words, theta is equal to cosine inverse of one over square root of six plus sine inverse of one over square root of six plus two n pi, where n runs through all integers. And we also have Theta equals nung nandito sa second. Okay. So add natin nung alpha. Okay. Pi plus cosine inverse of one over the square root of six minus sine inverse of one over square root of six plus two n pi as n runs through all integers. Okay. So can we do anything further with the cosine inverse and sine inverse of 1 over the square root of 6? If the goal is to come up with something exact, then you know what? This is enough. That's enough? It looks like uh, yeah. if, if someone gave me that, someone someone told me, po, there's this angle that is exactly equal to pi plus cosine, one in cosine inverse 1 over negative uh, one over the square root of six minus sine inverse one over the square root of six. I'd be like, what? Yeah. Oh. Uh, but I mean, again, if you want an approximation, then since you have the exact form, you can always come up with an approximation. As opposed to when you give someone an approximation, you lose sight of what it originally was. So in that regard, uh, this would be theoretically the more desirable form of the answer. But from a kunare, interpretation perspective, parang you want to see, is it an acute angle? Is it an obtuse angle? Then maybe an approximation would help. But you know what I noticed? There are some things that can be uh, done further. Okay, I noticed the following. Cosine inverse plus sine inverse of exactly the same thing. Do you remember one identity we proved last time? Wait, is the if they, they add up to one or something? This one. They're just equal to pi over two. Yes. No, so see, so see. Yeah, all right. Okay. So the furthermore, okay. Theta equals pi over two 
plus two and by for all integers n. Literally among us. Yeah. Uh, so Gunnar, if you had the, the, the approximations, um, then, then you would have arrived at pi over two or uh, and then say you were using a calculator and it output 90. How do you know it's early 90 as opposed to 89.9999999999 and so on? But everything we have done is exact. Okay, so let me put it down here. Recall that uh, cosine inverse of x plus sine inverse of x is equal to. Yeah, although it's not so much uh, being an integer. I mean, after all, pi over 2 is not an integer. So the thing is, the, 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 the idea is that uh, sometimes we tend to see what we want to see. Parang, oh, it would be nice if this was two thirds, but how do you really know it's two thirds? So, so if you have a way of keeping things in their exact form, then go for it. Now, um, one other thing I noticed is the following. Okay, get it on. Mm, observe that pi plus two and pi can be combined. Okay. So that's going to give us pi multiplied by 2n plus 1. So it'll furthermore, we can write as theta equals cosine inverse of 1 over the square root of 6 minus sine inverse of 1 over the square root of 6 plus 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi. Right. Of course, it is possible, all right, if, I mean, ito, as far as I'm concerned, this would be acceptable. But naman, oh, hey, cosine inverse of 1 over square root of 6, what if palitan natin siya ng ano, pi over 2 minus sine inverse of 1 over square root of 6? And then minus the sine inverse of 1 over square root of 6 plus 2n plus 1 pi. Or at least uh, the inverse trig expressions you can combine into a single term. So betting on. So now you would have, uh, yeah. All right, but there are many different ways. But I like this. All right. Okay. Actually, I didn't expect that. Non cosine inverse plus sine inverse appearing. It just happened. Okay, and so, I mean, it's there, so we took advantage of it. Okay, what other trigonometric functions do I have in mind? If not? So, 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 trigonometric equations rather. So, 9 sine squared theta plus 6 sine theta equals 8. Convert to sine or cosine, or not necessary. Cosine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Convert into U. So quadratic, right? Uh, let's hope it's factorable. Is it? I it's hope it is. It's factorable. Then da -da -da -da, use the quadratic. quadratic formula. But if it's not factorable, let's just change the problem. <laughs> it's factorable. Well, yeah. Okay, the factors are tell me what they, they are. Uh, x minus two thirds, and then that's what I'm about, x plus four. So x minus two thirds, so three x minus two, so three sine theta minus two, so the other should be three sine theta plus four. 12 minus six, six, right. All right, so that means sine theta is um, two thirds, or sine theta is negative four thirds. Okay. What say you about these two? Are they um, avenues that we can both explore? Can, bo can both of them be explored leading to a solution? There is negative. There is no sign of a negative number. And there's no, there's no R, R sign of a negative number. 
I think it should. Yeah, it should have. I mean, a sign can be negative if theta is in the third or fourth quadrants. Huh. So the negativity of four thirds that does not eliminate that possibility. No, it's still, it's still, not, it's still undefended. Ah, kasi nagka calculator ka na, nagtry ka ng arc sine of negative four thirds. So that's what you did. Abo. Sabi na eh, wag. Don't. So kita mo. Okay, that's why I'm asking you. Why is sine theta equal to negative four thirds not viable? Because it's not because it's not because it's negative. Kasi when you get an arc sine or an arc cosine, it only gives you one solution. But there are infinitely many solutions. So you still have to be able to understand how you can use this arc sine or arc cosine to generate all the other solutions. Gaya Wait, nung sa I illustration have, I have dito. An, I have an extreme idea po. Di ba po? But di ba po, let's say, yung zero is the opposite of one. Yung zero po. Huh? Wait lang. Ah. Uh, uh, let's say po, yung zero is the, of the yung one, one, sine one degree is the opposite of sine 359 degrees. So ngayon, mm -hmm. so sine, when when it ends up with four thirds, it means it's yung opposite na po nasa huba. So, yeah. so, so, three, four, three, four, five na triangle po. Ha, ha, ha. So, uh, opposite. Of, wait, it's not a hypothesis. It's not a hypothesis pala. Oh, all right. Vision fails. What are the possible values of the sine function? Mm, yung ano po. Arc sine and it's, uh, and it's uh don't don't think of arc sign see okay okay resist always thinking in terms of sign and arc sign or arc cosine okay i'm asking you what are the possible values of the sign of of anything sign of x negative seven Uh, why? Hmm. It's not because it's negative. Because say the sine function no, can know, have it, a negative value. It can, it can get below negative one because the unit circle itself cannot physically. Become yeah. Negative. So sine of x equals one plus zero point one. Is that possible? Now go back. Ah, sine theta is less than negative one. That's it. All right. Did you did you need the arc sign to make that argument? Meron bang binatbat ng mga arc sign at mga arc cosine sa wala. All right. So sine theta is negative four thirds, and because of the very fact that that's that, that negative four thirds is less than one, negative one rather, and that means this has no solution. It does not have to be explored. And you don't have to compute the arc sine of negative four thirds because in the first place, it's impossible. But how about here, sine theta equals two thirds. This is possible. All right. Now, a lot of students, they would just go ahead and write, oh, sine theta has to be sine inverse of two thirds. But keep in mind that that is just going to be one clue. What are the quadrants of our solutions? In which quadrants can we find them? First and second quadrant. Yeah, first and second quadrants. Okay. No solution in the first quadrant, what is it? Okay. Is there a special is there a special angle? None. None. Now you can use your inverse trig functions. Yay! And arc sine cosines. All right. But I don't need an approximation. Sine inverse of two-thirds will be fine. But now you realize because you are familiar with circles, there is another solution. What is that other solution? 180 minus the arc sine of negative 2. Yes. All right. 
So our two particular solutions here are the following. Theta is equal to sine inverse of two thirds plus two and I and running through an element of Z. Also, I minus sine inverse of two thirds plus two and pi, an element of z. Or, uh, it it's actually just the second family that I'm going to uh, modify, negative sine inverse of two thirds plus instead of even multiples of pi this time, add multiples of pi. Oh. All right. So add it together pi and two and pi. Double. Oh, there's no simplification anymore. You see that? Wait. This looks suspicious. It looks it looks similar to something. I can just pinpoint. This looks this looks uh, similar. Again, when in doubt, always convert into sine and cosine. <laughs> Well, with cosine x and sine x are already sine and cosine. So are you thinking of, um, I guess, tangent 4x? Okay. So you have sine 4x over cosine 4x. Well, there was a readily available na formula for 4x and 4, 4x. Yes. But what if you don't really need it? How do you know we need it? Anyway, this is what we have. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. 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 I do I Sine of 4x cosine x plus sine of 4x sine x equals cosine of 4x cosine x minus um, cosine of 4x sine x. Okay. We have four different terms. Four different terms. One of them looks very suspicious. Yes. Just one of them or not all of them? Maybe for me, sir. Actually, yes. Actually, if you switch for if you switch to the one of them, it will become uh, they will become like compatible. It's like a Rubik's cube that switched. Yeah. So in particular, what what do you want to put together? Cosine four x cosine x minus sine four x sine. X. Wait, wait. Cosine four x cosine x. Is this what you mean? Above. Along with. Along with the uh, sine four x sine x. 
Yes. And then the cosine four x sine x will be with the sine four x cosine x. So let's see what we get. Let's see. Let's see. Because well, whenever you get a, whenever you get a, yung ganon po na yung ganon po na formula na may sine yung general addition or subtraction formula, you know it's going to go in a good direction. Yeah. Until the arc sine starts to hit. Mga arc sine, arc cosine ba tayo? What say you about the two sides? Cosine, Where do you want to start? Cosine for x turn plus x. Ayan. And then yung sa naman po is uh, sine, sine for x plus x. Okay, nung nasa left is sine of? For, for x plus x. Right, what about the right side? Okay, this is 5x. And then, this is naman po, cosine 4x minus x. Oh, plus x then. So, so, what do you have? Sine of 5x, 5x equals cosine 5x. Isn't that what simpler? I still have to expand this already. Wait, do we have to expand? Wait. Do if, we? Yes, sine 5x equals cosine 5x. It means it is on it is on uh, the quadrantal. It's on the quadrantal. Is it? Uh, when is wait 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 when Actually, it's not quadrantal. Because zero and one eh, magkaiba nga eh. Kung nasa quadrant ng angle. When when no when when the x is equal to y, so we say in a circle. Yeah, yeah. Um, if the y if the x equals y. One half, the one, you know, one half on the points. One half, one half. Wait. This time, we're going to do the opposite. Instead of rewriting everything in terms of sine and cosine, I don't want to see any sine and cosine. This is like, this is like, this is the literal foolish man scene. No! I was butchered. It, it will become tangent 5x equals 1. All right. So what does that mean? Actually, this was asking for a specific solution, but let, let's solve this in general. I said I realized we haven't been solving um, tangents that much. The sine and cosine function are negative. Um, in the complete revolution, if you want to solve the equation tangent theta equals one, what are the solutions? Tangent 45 and mm -hmm. the, the 270 minus that or something. Uh, the yung opposite po na line that makes it one eighth degrees. Uh, forty five. The other is forty five. Forty five ninety forty five. One eighty. So one eighty plus forty five, which is wait. I how I already list. I literally reiterated the fact that I said one eighty. Mm -hmm. So five. wait, what's the other one? Two two five mo. Two two five degrees. However, uh, dapat lahat ng ano, di ba, co-terminal sa kanila, 45 degrees, 45 plus, plus 2, 2 pi n, at 2 n Okay, so 360 degrees n, or 2 pi n, or also um, 2, 2, 5 degrees, plus uh, multiples of, so yan, 360 degrees n. However, get it no? What's the relationship between um, 45 degrees and 225 degrees? Their difference is 180 degrees, diba? 180 degrees. So, so think of it this way. From the first family, you would go 45 and then one complete revolution. And then 225, the other family of solutions, plus one complete revolution. But do you see that you can actually combine these two into something simpler. 
okay? Kasi 45, if you had 180 degrees, that will give you 225N. If you add another 180 degrees, another solution, another 180 degrees, what I'm pointing at is the following, okay? We could express the entire family of solutions as 45 degrees plus pi n. So 5x is equal to pi over 4 plus pi n. Okay, what happened here? Okay, so rather than write your answers as 5x equal to pi over 4 plus 2 pi n, or 5x equal to, I don't know, 2 to 5, 5 pi over 4 plus 2 pi n. The observation is that, okay, okay, pi over 4 plus pi n equals 5 pi over 4. All right. So, kumbaga, for the first set, you have an, uh, um, I'm going to run out of space here. Uh -huh. Okay. So from the first set, you have an, um, pi over 4. That was pi over 4 plus 2 pi. Then pi over 4 plus 4 pi. Pero kasi nung 5 pi over 4, this one, that's pi over 4 plus pi. So if you add another 2 pi, plus 3 pi, pi over 4, plus 5 pi. And then observe that when you look at all these values, they're actually just based on pi over 4, where you are adding pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi. So it'd be easier if you write it as one family of solutions, n element of the set of integers. So actually, that means x is pi over 20 plus pi over 5n, an element of all the integers. Okay. But for the solution to the problem, in degrees, the smallest positive uh, uh, value, so answer would be pi over 20, which is in degrees, uh, 180 over 20, 9 degrees. Okay. It's an answer to the problem. Okay. Compute the smallest positive x in the news. Okay. Chamber, I may use a value that I prepared earlier. I think you're going to like this. Tell me if you're going to like this. You think you're going to like it or not? Uh... This is this I I I am already suspicious immediately. What literally 1984? This is Abu. I guess the mga inverse trigonometric functions, di ba? This is the pre. This is the torture camp of the Soviets. I an inverse trigonometric function equation. <laughs> I'm gone. How's this possible? Yes, it is possible, my friend. Of it course, it is possible. It is everything is possible using technology. Of course, it's possible. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, actually, tan inverse of x appears twice, so we we could at least simplify this. Uh, we have 2 tangent inverse of x minus 2 tangent inverse of one third. So, pag samasamahin, so we have tangent inverse of x equals 2 tangent inverse of one third plus tangent inverse of one. Okay, um, we are uh, going to try to look for x here. 
we I, I tangent inverse of one. Do we know that? What's tangent inverse of one? Yeah, okay, 45 or pi over four. Tangent inverse of one third, that's not going to be exact. So we're going to have to leave it as it is, okay? But well, tangent inverse of x is twice tangent inverse of one third plus pi over four. What we are looking for is x. Okay. That's what we're looking for, but well, we can. Why? Why don't we then just uh, rewrite this as follows? X equals free the tangent. I free the tangent. Yeah. From the tangents. Free. Oh, free from the tangent. So X is equal to what? X is equal to tangent uh, to to tan. What is this? This is like a this mental Olympics. Uh, one over. Does this now oh, look familiar? Only, there is only one. There is only one on the phone. There is only one. There's only one uh, arc, arc tangent. Yes. Oh. So again, it's the okay. tangent. So, isa lang ang sagot natin. Isa lang hinahanap natin. Okay. But then, uh, what we want to do is figure it out exactly. Now, tangent inverse of one third is not exact, but it does not mean we cannot find the exact value of the whole thing. Ano ginagawa natin ng mga inverse tangent na ga-assign tayo, di ba? Okay. Let theta be tangent inverse of one third. That's theta. Ano yan? Sorry? You're choppy? Sana ginamit na lang po yung Omicron. Eh... Hindi ko gagamitin ng Omicron, matutuwa ka pa. All right. <laughs> All right. So, okay, so tangent to theta plus pi over 4. So ito, um, this is uh, tangent to theta. So let's uh, use the tangent addition formula. In the numerator, that's going to be plus or minus? Minus. A plus, plus, plus. Plus tangent pi over 4. In the denominator, the ano, ano, 1 minus tangent 2 theta, tangent pi over 4. And tangent pi over 4 is, that's equal to? Four, one, one, one. one, OK. So we have um, it's a tangent. Uh, 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 it, it, it's nicer to write it down like this. 1 plus tangent 2 theta over 1 minus tangent 2 theta. So, kailangan natin uh, figure out what is tangent of 2 theta given that, well, theta is tangent inverse of 1 third. So, that means uh, tangent of theta is equal to 1 third. So, it big sabihin, Tangent 2 theta is, how would it look like? Tangent 2 theta. So, tangent 2, what if we use conjugates for? Will it help? Conjugates? No, actually, ano lang, um, write tangent 2 theta in terms of tangent theta. Because we want to use this thing. Eh? Say this is uh, a, a given value. So tangent two theta. So dub, double angle formula for the tangent. What would that be? I think I, I don't know, Bob. I think it's a one plus two tangent theta over. Huh? What are we doing? Okay. So so that's the general. One minus tangent squared theta is. Okay, one minus tangent squared theta. What's the numerator? Two tangent theta? Minus one tangent theta? Yeah. Two tangent, two tangent theta. theta lang. So again, the formula is tangent x plus tangent y over one minus tangent x tangent y. Okay, so just let x and y be equal to the same thing 
equal to theta. So the next to s tangent theta will just be added to itself. So you have two thirds over one minus one over nine. So two thirds divided by eight over nine, so times nine over eight, we have three fourths. Okay, so going back here, we have one plus three fourths over one minus three fourths. That's gonna be equal to seven. That's the exact value. I'm looking for, actually did this is one of those times where the questions I prepared have run out. I'm not sure we could uh, uh, to discuss like maybe one more. Okay, hang on, I'm looking for some. I was just going to say, well, this, may, this might well as be the first time that na run out by one <laughs> oh, the Wait, wait, wait. Kaya, kaya. Um, ano tayo? Oh no, Grandpa Pala, there's an infinite supply of problems. <laughs> so actually I have some stuff here and I'm just trying to decide which one I'm gonna give. Or more. There's an infinite supply. <laughs> It'll never run out. <laughs> Inexhaustible. And then this is uh, I'm looking at something similar. So no, I should be able to find something. Okay, okay, it'll be feeling a lot at random. And actually, I'm looking at a problem, and I don't know uh, how to. Okay. So, think the natin pareho kasi. Wait, what? Wait, yung ano po yung mga. Five man, that twelve thirteen. I already know what that means. Yeah. Okay. It's the Pythagorean triple. Mm -hmm. So see, it, 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 it's an issue of familiarity. Okay. So what what do you propose we do with the given? I want to make sure I copy it correctly. Ten cosecant theta minus twelve secant theta plus five cosecant theta. All right. So with, with the first equation, what we what what do you suggest we do? Meet the squaring of the points. So so you notice that five, twelve, and thirteen form a Pythagorean triple, right? Okay. Okay. Actually, uh, this solution harks back to um, remember earlier with the square root of three example. Okay. When when you divide by when you look at one half and square root of three over two, you recognize they are the sine and cosine. Of the same angle. So, ito, um, oops. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Um, my topic, right? Para hobong sign yun. I would imagine. Oh, hold on. It's 12 cosine theta. All right, as expected. All right. But, but that, it, it went much worse. Uh, it would have been much worse otherwise. Okay. So, again, ito. Um, kasi when, when we let something be, uh, parang ano dapat, it should be possible to really make it so. Again, ito. Uh, 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 what I'm going to write down is let uh, alpha be the, the angle in the first quadrant na lang. So zero to pi over two, such that. Okay. Hmm. 
cosine alpha equals five over 13 and sine alpha equals 12 over 13. All right. And letting alpha be such an angle can be done because, hey, um, consistent naman lahat, there is such an angle alpha whose cosine and sine is equal to 12 over 13. All right. So when we let something be, we, we have to make sure that we can actually make it happen. Let's say, for example, if I write this, let alpha be something from zero to pi over two, such that cosine of alpha equals negative seven. It's possible, right? Hindi pwede. So madali lang siya isulat, let alpha be this, but it does not mean there is such an angle alpha. So there's a sense of responsibility that comes along letting something be. Dapat posible. Or kumare, sige, um, gawin ko naman, cosine alpha is one-third, tapos sine alpha is 12 over 13. Pwede ba to? Pwede po. One-third ang cosine and then the sine of the same angle alpha is 12 over 13. Pwede ba yun? Yung ano ko na it looks very suspicious kasi hindi yata, hindi, I don't think na may ganun. So, What's gonna happen with sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha given if okay. the values were these? Given, given for, we're just looking at them po, it probably isn't one. In, hindi one, di ba? Magiging ano to, one, four, four over one, six, nine plus one over nine. Hindi siya magiging one. Kasi para maging 1, instead of 1 over 9, dapat ano to, 25 over 169. Eh. eh hindi eh, 1 over 9 kasi cosine alpha is 1 third. So in this case, hindi posible nung let dito. But uh, here above, everything is fine. So we can rewrite this as ito. sine theta tapos yung 5 over 13 cosine alpha. And then cosine theta, 12 over 13 is sine alpha equals 1. Now, Joshua, tell me, uh, what do we get out of this? On the left side. Uh, sine addition. So it is uh, sine alpha, sine, uh, sine theta plus, uh, sine, plus uh, alpha. Equals 1. All right. Okay. Tapos, um, well, actually, that's a nice value. Uh, the sine of theta plus alpha equals one. But can we actually then identify or solve for theta? So get it uh, Sine is equal to one. So it will be in theta plus alpha equals? Plus 90. 90 degrees or pi over two. Pwede ba nung ano? Pi over two plus two pi. Pwede kaya? Oh. You think pwede or hindi na? So, diba? Convenient to conclude pi over 2. Pero we have to be convinced uh, to ourselves na pi over 2 lang. Kasi we, we have to be able to eliminate, reject the other possibilities with an actual reason. Bakit hindi na pwede ng pi over 2 plus 2 pi? So, tingin tayo dito. Okay, given those ranges, na. Okay, tama na na bawal na. Then what what can we conclude about theta plus alpha? They are complementary. Ninety dapat po exactly five. And complementary ba sila theta and alpha? Kasi hindi pa nga tayo sure na pi over 2 eh. Uh, we're trying to eliminate the possibility that it's that the sum is pi over 2 plus 2 pi. All we know is that the sine of the sum of these two angles is equal to 1. Actually, Pero pwede yung pi over 2. If, even if theta is, even if theta is uh, in between 0 and pi, what if alpha is, you know, what, what if alpha is, you know, what if alpha is small? What if alpha is what, sorry? But uh, what if theta pala po is small and alpha is also small, also small. It will also be pi over 2. Kung ano naman po, kung if it will, can it reach, can it hypothetically reach pi over 2 plus 2 pi? 
uh, kung nasapay na po ang seta, kung nasapay na po ang seta, it will need more than one pay na para yung alpha po will cut. Yes, out. yes, yes. Uh, or actually, ganito. Uh, theta is at most pi, alpha is at most pi over 2. So nung sum nila, at most, 3 pi over 2. And within this uh, range of angles, only a single angle will have its sine value equal to 1, and that's pi over 2. But, but you're right. Anong sinasabi mo? It's essentially the same argument that um, if theta is close to pi, kahit ilapit mo siya doon, then nung alpha, kailangan mas malaki pa sa pi over 2. Okay, so therefore, we are sure uh, theta plus alpha has to be pi over 2. And so you're right, complementary nung theta and alpha. So now um, we are trying to evaluate. Okay. So, so we, we know that um, cosine alpha is 5 over 13 and sine of alpha equals 12 over 13. Can, can you tell me what the value of this expression is? So I, I suppose we can end here. What? Because if find the value of 10 cosecant theta minus 12 secant theta plus five cotangent theta. This is what we ended up with. Theta and alpha, sum up to pi over two, they're complementary. And how did we define alpha? This angle whose cosine and sine are respectively five over 13 and 12 over 13. So actually- So kung sine alpha is 12 over 13, we can use the co-functions to flip yung ano po yung functions. Oh, so what are the cosine of theta and sine of theta respectively? Sine of theta will become, 13 over 5, and then sine theta will become 13 over 12. Wait, these are sines and cosines. They can be 13 over 5. Lampas yun ang 1. Ah, so... Cosine po is 12 over 13 pa na. Na, na for some reason, nag-glitch nag, nag pa yung utak. Uh, okay lang. So, okay. Patapos na tayo. Pahinga ka na. Magbabalik na lang okay. pa pala. Uh, so, cosine theta okay. is 12 over 13, and then the sine theta will become that 5 over 13. All right. Okay. So, before we finish the class, let me do one of the things that you so like me doing. What? Okay. Alam mo na yun, di ba? Ayan. Ano mo parang, ano mo parang, parang yun sa war post, sinabi po, sinabi po, Nazi Germany. Na, ano po, na-attack. Parang nag-ano na po ako. May meron na po, PTSD. That's a trigger, can I be? So, this is a um, 10 times a sine theta is 5 over 13. So, cosecant is 13 over 5. Uh, cosine is 12 over 13. So, secant is 13 over 12 plus 5. And then cotangent is cosine over sine 12 over 5. So, simple. Enough. Uh, 26 minus 13 plus 12. And, ayan. Dito na ako nagtigilan. All right. All right. Uh, hindi ko na kaya i-compute. 25? There you go. All right. It's a, it's a nice final value. All right. Yay. Okay. Sige, Joshua. Take a break. And I added some problems for, for you to try. Oh, yeah. And then I'll see if I can find other trigonometric uh, equations so for you to try as well. Oh, my green boxes. Uh, my green boxes. The, 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 the green boxes of joy. All right, the green boxes of happiness. Okay. All right, Sir Joshua. I said Sir Joshua and Jay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, have a good day. Bye. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Sir. Thank you, Paul. Bye-bye, Paul. Enjoy your weekend, Paul. Bye. Sir. You too. Bye. Bye, Joshua. Bye-bye, Paul.